So the circus moves on and the chaos continues. This is the media conference for the Australian or maybe New Zealand film, The Piano. And what you do here is you grab a chair, you grab yourself a star or maybe the director, and you sit down and you start and you just hope that the noise of all the other interviews doesn't drown out the noise of yours. You know that you've arrived here with everybody saying that you are the hot contender for the Palme d'Or. Did you know that? Well, they always set someone up, don't they, you know? <laughs> yeah, well, they do, but They yeah. set yeah. someone up and then, you know, they say, oh, what a shame, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Initially, didn't you regard your part as the villain of the piece? Well, he certainly looks like that on the page. Well, he does, doesn't he? Yeah. But the more I thought about it, the more I realised that I, how much, uh, how much empathy I have with him, and and his, somebody who's in pain, you have to have compassion for him. I felt compassion for him, and I, I felt sorry for him. You know. What, what do you think of, of of this this woman? Because in in a sense, I mean, she's nineteenth century woman, but her attitude to men is almost twentieth century, isn't it? Because she is using men. Shh. Quiet. <laughs> Because she, she, she is using men in the way that we are used to men using women, really, isn't she? Absolutely. That, I think, is kind of uh, a disturbing element for a lot of people, that Ada has both kind of male instincts and very female instincts that live very much in tandem. And I do think that that exploration is a bit disturbing. Yeah. When you see her operating, as you most often see a man operating, uh, but she's very womanly at the same time. So I do think that that's rather strange, and it also makes her inordinately powerful. Tell me something about how you came to choose Mr. Keitel. Uh, everyone else around me was surprised at the idea, you know, like he's so New York, you know, he's always, you know, he plays exactly. cops, you know, he does, you know, the la, and I thought, yeah, but... Let's just try, you know, let's just see. And so we sent him a script and um, I was very, very happy and surprised to find that he totally just, he just seemed to, you know, that was it for him, that he we wanted to be Baines, you know. And um, I was a bit nervous because I thought, gee, you know, in the films that you see Harvey and he plays such mean macho yeah. guys and, you know, how am I going to get on with them? Did you know Jane Campion's work before you accepted the role? She was sitting right over there. <laughs> I won't tell her. I won't say a word. She'll come over and chide me again. <laughs>